All right, everybody, another hike outside of Calgary. This one about an uh, hour and 10 minutes from Calgary to the west on number one highway. And uh, a hike that we've talked about doing many times but haven't done it, so we're gonna give it a shot. I'll show you where we are. Trail. We've never done this one before. Let's do it. Probably hear the roar of the highway behind me here. That's number one in the distance. And uh, we just started. We're just getting going here. This hike is relatively short. I think it's 2.6 miles. But uh, some interesting features here. Right now I'm climbing up next to a rock wall here, so on a day like today when it's raining, you gotta be a little bit careful that you don't slip. But nice to look at, for sure. Alright, we're just trekking through a low spot here. But these uh, low spots are good places in the spring and early summer to see wildflowers, seen quite a few different things already, and uh, lots of different flowers in bloom right at the moment, which is pretty cool. Alright, this is the entrance here, uh, where Heart Creek currently empties, and one of the things they've done is they've done some flood mitigation work and they're putting some floodgates. So that's what's holding some of the water back at the very end of our creek. Just in the distance here, you can see the flood mitigation gates. And a little holding pond. But since the uh, floods, they've added some interesting platforms here. And they go off in the distance where you have to cross the creek several times. There are a few places here where you have to scramble over some rocks so some good footwear particularly as I said before on a day when it's raining just be careful but uh, beautiful setting and surrounded on both sides by the canyon we've crossed I think six bridges so far there's something like 11 or 12 but in many places you'll pass by these sheer rock faces and they are frequently used for rock climbing. There's uh, lots of little pitons you can see that have been put into the rock and we actually saw a couple of climbers on the way out with all of their ropes and equipment. So, uh, nice day, you might actually see some climbers doing some activities. All right, so there are a couple places on this trail where it's actually difficult to determine which way you need to go. And we think that at this point, we need to cross the creek and it's gonna require some rock jumping. So we will see. Yes, we found a trail sign up in the distance. So you do have to cross the creek here. So there's a little bit of creek jumping. Here we go, just across from me here, at the base of this little waterfall, we got somebody uh, blaying for a person climbing up the waterfall, off in the distance there, quite a ways up already. And uh, yeah, it always amazes me that they can climb wet rocks like that. I guess that's part of the challenge. All right, here we are, the end of Heart Creek Trail. where the creek starts all right so that's it we are turning around now and the exit for the heart creek trail is back the way we came so we are going to hike our way out 
All right, and here we are back at the parking lot at the entrance to Heart Creek Trail, overlooking Trans Canada and the lake in the distance. There are some washrooms here and the trailhead. So that's it. There are some picnic tables here on a nicer day. We had planned to do another hike, but unfortunately the rain has set in, so that's going to do it for today. But nice little hike and uh, more adventures to come.